Remember Renegade? There's something about that box art that just brings me back to the video store. Hey, what's going on everyone? I've got something pretty cool I'd like you to check out. It is called the Evercade Retro Console. It's made by a company called Blaze Entertainment. They're based in the UK and they've gone and released a portable retro console that operates on cartridges. Overall, it's actually kind of impressive and cool. I think I really do like the thing. There's a couple reasons that uh, I don't fully recommend it, but the price is great. Uh, the games are reasonably priced as well. It's got a 4.25 inch screen, so it's not super huge, but it does provide uh, fidelity and maybe not the best viewing angle, but at the same time, you know, for these games and that retro sort of feel, I haven't found myself being upset by the viewing angle on this thing. Those buttons on the screen are actually pretty great. Um, they feel solid. That D-pad there is also pretty great. The shoulder buttons um, up here have a bit of like a mousey, you see that mouse button kind of click to them? You don't really use them that much, so it hasn't been that much of an issue. Let's talk about the carts real quick. They fit a little too snugly into this, what I'm told is a pre-production model. And yeah, they come like this, and if you long for the days of, you know, box art, having to take the cart out of the thing and say, oh, I got the thing now, I'm gonna pop it into my thing, okay. A really solid reason as to why Evercade went with the carts, and that's because the emulation software used to play these games is loaded onto the cart. So what Blaze has done is they've licensed all the games, they've licensed emulators, they've actually come up with new emulators, uh, in some cases, proprietarily, just for the Evercade system, and it's all loaded on the cart. So to me that, that says, all right, I can have a self-contained sort of thing that works right on here. And then I don't have to worry about maybe updating the firmware on this guy uh, and, and all of the sort of headaches that could be associated with that. Real old school sort of boot up sound. I'm a fan of that. It's got some uh, volume buttons. It's got a headphone jack and a USB for charging. On top, you've got your power button, HDMI out, the mini variety. These wires are readily available. You can go out and get one. I didn't have one in my uh, Radio Shack Nest. Uh, that is my uh, office closet, but I did get one. And you can play it on a regular television. Now, here's the thing though. If you are going to go down that path, I recommend getting a long ass wire because you're going to be tethered to your TV. Right now, the system is launching with 10 carts, and each cart have roughly 6 to 20 games on it. And they're sort of like these collection games, right? So you get an Interplay collection, you get a Data East collection, you get an Atari collection. A lot of them you will recognize from arcades, a lot of them you'll recognize from 16 and 8-bit video game consoles. There was Double Dragon 1 and 2 on here, so that was pretty cool as well. <laughs> And a couple other gems that you're just like, oh, I think I remember this game. What was this game? And you like look at the box art and you're like, oh man, why does that look so familiar? Did I like rent that at some point? Was that a thing? Had that happen to me about 40 times playing with all these games. So the cards are gonna go for $20, which, you know, anywhere from six to 20 games seems like a solid value. There are two versions that you can buy out of the gate, there's this here premium pack that's gonna go for $100. That includes three carts in the box. Like I said, each cart, six to 20 games roughly. In the box here is the Atari Interplay and Data East collections. There's volume two of some of these collections that expand on that. Uh, or you could get the cheaper variety. That's the $80 starter pack. That's only gonna come with one cart in the box. Think of the Evercade as this sort of, you know, flexible computer. And with the software and the emulators and the games all on that cart, you just pop it into the Evercade and that hopefully will leave room down the road for more games to get made and more emulators to be supported. There's not really an operating system on the Evercade. It's more of like this overlaid shell that lets you save states, load states. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was super skeptical when this showed up, uh, but I wound up finding myself playing it a decent amount. The battery life is solid, four to five hours. You'll get out of a charge. Um, haven't had that be a problem, especially compared to uh, some of the other handhelds I've got going on in the house, like a Switch. You know, it really does scratch that itch of wanting to experience those games from yesteryear. And, you know, I'm not the biggest retro game person. I don't have to always play those those titles that uh, I remember from my youth. But some of these are so rare that they're kind of, you know, turning on light bulbs for my past and just being like, oh my God, remember this game? Or, or did you really need to spend some more time with Booger Man? It turns out, yeah, yeah, I guess I kind of did. You know, uh, uh, my kid thinks it's funny. Booger! So there you have it, Evercade. That's going to do it for me. I hope you are making the best of the situation. I hope you're safe and healthy and most importantly, uh, spending time with people you love, if you can do that. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.